Ripley, the CEO of Baker Ripley, is a wonderful, wonderful partner. Chi Mei Lin, the CEO of the Chinese Community Center, and Mary Vasquez is the Vice President for Community Outreach for the United Way of Greater Houston. And Representative Wu will join us in, in just a few minutes. So I first want to thank everybody who's here, e each person uh, joining me today it plays an incredible leadership role in making sure that our community has the resources it needs on so many areas, so thank you. Um, before I begin with today's announcements, I, I do want to address the tragic ambush that took place this weekend, where uh, three Harris County Precinct 4 constable deputies were ambushed, one of whom lost his life, uh, two suffered severe injuries. I've been in touch with the families of the three deputies, and of course, in touch with Constable Herman throughout all of these days. Um, and I've expressed to them that the community's hearts continue to go out for their families, that we honor their service, we honor their sacrifice, and we are right there with them in the quest for finding those responsible. The perpetrators have not yet been identified, and there is a $75,000 reward available for anybody who provides information leading to an arrest. And so I want to urge the community in order to honor these three deputies, their work, their sacrifice, their family sacrifice, help us get to the bottom of this. If you have any information, please reach out. And there is now the added incentive of the $75,000 reward. Now for today, we're, we're here with a sense of urgency. And it's an urgency that needs to be shared far and wide throughout Harris County. Today, according to the U.S. Census, one in five children in Harris County lives in poverty. That means that almost, that they, they live in poverty, not only that, almost half of that one in five lives in deep poverty, with a family income below half of the poverty line. That's more than just a number, just a statistic. That is, hundreds of thousands of children in Harris County, one of the most prosperous counties in the most prosperous country in the world, having challenges in terms of access to transportation, uh, to healthy food, to an adequate upbringing because they don't have the economic means, their families don't have the economic means to achieve that. Beyond the heartbreaking impact that these children are living with each day, there is consequences farther down the line in their lives. Not only do children who grow up in poverty become burdened later in life by lower incomes, they are more likely to be arrested, less likely to have positive outcomes when it comes to education, so many other areas. So it's crucial that we support our children now so that no child in Harris County lives in poverty. And child poverty impacts all of us. Think about it, we want these kids to grow up and be incredible parts of this community. And so by supporting them now, we're not only helping them, but we're helping build a stronger community for the future. The expansion of the child tax credit by the Biden administration or congressional delegation is a paradigm shift in how this country tackles poverty. And of course, there are so many efforts in Harris County that we're engaging in to try to tackle this as well. As a reminder, the child tax credit is, is claimed every year when people file taxes. Normally for every child, families receive a $2,000 tax credit. But thanks to the Biden administration, thanks to the congressional delegation, the child tax credit has been expanded to $3,000 for every child uh, between six and 17 and $3,600 for every child uh, five and under. And so it's an incredible opportunity this year for families to claim uh, this additional amount on their taxes to support their children. But families will not receive this additional amount if there is no record of them with the IRS, if there's no tax record for them to receive payment. The new law changed the timing of the payments. So families 
are already receiving the first half of the tax credit, the first half of the 3600 or the 3000 if they filed their taxes in 2019 and 2020. And they'll receive the second half once they file their taxes in 2021, their 2021 taxes, next spring. The long and short of it is, we need you to do two things if you have children to qualify. First, to file your taxes next spring, file your 2021 taxes in order to get the second half of the tax credit. But second, in order to get the first half of the tax credit, you need to file your 2019 taxes or your 2020 taxes if you haven't done so already. And even if you don't, if you don't need to file taxes because you have a low income level, the, the IRS still needs a record of you, so we need you to register so that you can receive this tax credit. If families take advantage of this program, the child tax credit has the power to cut the national child poverty rate by 45%, almost half, lifting more than 4 million children out of poverty. In Harris County, this translates into 120,000 children lifted out of poverty. But the expansion of this problem, program, this opportunity that we have this year with the expansion of the child tax credit doesn't do any good if families don't apply for it. And so that's why we're here today. There are at least 30,000 families in Harris County who have children who qualify, but who don't file taxes for whatever reason at least 30,000 kids who would miss out on their payments. That is $90 million that could go to families in our communities that they may not receive. That's why today we're announcing we're putting in our own skin in the game. Harris County is partnering with Baker Ripley, these great organizations, to help families get this vital assistance. Our partnership with Baker Ripley will allow them to hire more staff, to expand operating hours, to conduct vital outreach deep into communities and clinics and churches and community centers so that families know what they need to do to claim these benefits. They'll provide information in multiple languages. They'll do phone consultations. They'll do in-person consultations, uh, filing assistance, all kinds of help in all kinds of areas throughout our community. Now this program isn't just the right thing to do. It's good for taxpayers. We're making a relatively modest investment, about half a million dollars, and that will return at least six to fifteen million dollars to Harris County families if these folks file with file their taxes, uh, register in order to receive the tax credit. So, in order for this to work, folks have to act fast. If you did not file 2019-2020 taxes, you have got to register and file your taxes by November 15th, and we are here to help. So let's not leave money on the table. Today, I wanna to make sure people know that this program is out there, remind you to take advantage of it, and remind you also to work with these organizations to receive the support that you need. So if you are hearing the sound of my voice and you have not filed taxes, you are not in the process of receiving the child tax credit, please act now, lean on Baker Ripley and their program for assistance in how to file taxes and Father Gita will have information as to what number to, to reach out to. The program is up and running. It'll run through to the end of tax season, which is April of next year. And we need to make sure that every child receives this benefit. So, and, and the phone number, I have it here actually, it's 713-273-3744. Or you can visit bakerripley.org to get connected with one of the incredible folks all throughout the community that are helping uh, with the support from Harris County. I know Representative Wu is here, and so I wanted to, to say thank you for joining us, and he's been such a champion for, for working families, and I'm, I'm happy that he's here. Let me repeat briefly in Spanish. Antes del anuncio de hoy, quiero hablar brevemente, brevemente acerca de la trágica emboscada que sucedió este fin de semana, en la cual eh, tres alguaciles fueron atacados mientras arrestaban a un sospechoso eh, después de un robo. Uno de ellos perdió su vida, dos, dos los dos eh, compañeros eh, terminaron hospitalizados. Eh, uno de ellos sigue todavía en condiciones críticas en el hospital. Y he estado en contacto con la familia de los cuatro oficiales, eh, con el alguacil Mark Herman, al tanto de cada desarrollo y expresándole tanto a las familias como al alguacil que nuestra comunidad respeta el servicio de estos hombres, la valentía, quiere honrar ese servicio 
y los apoyamos en su búsqueda eh, de los culpables por este ataque tan trágico. Ahora está disponible una recompensa de 75 mil dólares para cualquier persona que presente evidencia que lleve a un arresto de quienes cometieron este trágico crimen. Entonces, les pido por respeto a estos oficiales, a sus familias, que nos ayuden si tiene cualquier información acerca de quién haya podido cometer este crimen. Infórmenos, infórmenos y ahora también hay una recompensa de 75 mil dólares. Hoy estamos hablando acerca de algo también con un sentido de urgencia. De acuerdo al censo, uno de cada cinco niños en nuestro condado Harris vive en, progres, en pobreza. Uno de cada cinco niños vive en pobreza en este condado. Y la mitad de estos niños viven en lo que se llama pobreza profunda. Estos son niños, eh, no es simplemente una estadística. Son niños que en un condado próspero, en un país próspero, no tienen suficiente acceso a comidas saludables, a transporte, a lo que necesitan para tener un desarrollo, el desarrollo que merecen, los recursos que merecen. Y el impacto de este, esta situación en los niños día a día también se verá extendido a su vida a futuro. Los niños que crecen en pobreza, pobreza extrema, pobreza profunda, al final, a lo largo de su vida, tienen menos ingresos. Es más alta la probabilidad de que sean arrestados, de que terminen en la cárcel. Eh, tienen menos, menos oportunidades académicas. Entonces, por donde uno lo mire, necesitamos apoyar a los niños hoy día para que tengan los recursos, sus familias, los recursos financieros para sacarlos adelante. Además, esto nos impacta a todos nosotros. Todos queremos que nuestros niños surjan, que sean una gran parte de nuestra comunidad. Ha habido una expansión del crédito tributario por hijos. Esto cambia el paradigma, la estrategia para atacar la pobreza en este país. Claro que el condado ha venido trabajando en este tema, seguiremos trabajando, pero este cambio es importante y tenemos que tomar ventaja. Anualmente los padres pueden reclamar el crédito tributario para hijos cuando hacen su declaración de impuestos, reciben dos mil dólares por niño. Pero Gracias a la administración Biden, a nuestra delegación al Congreso, ahora este crédito, este beneficio son de $3,000 a $3,600 dólares por niño, menos de, menor de 18 años, dependiendo de la edad. Entonces, esto es algo de lo cual pueden tomar ventaja tantas familias alrededor de nuestro condado, pero las familias no van a recibir estos $3,000, $3,600 dólares por niño si no están registrados con, eh, con el IRS, si el gobierno no tiene la información de dónde enviar los pagos. Además, ha cambiado el horario, el calendario de pagos. Eh, la mitad de los, del, del pago de los 3.600 se recibe, se está recibiendo ya para las familias que llenaron sus impuestos, hicieron la declaración de los impuestos del 2019 o del 2020, pero no van a recibir la otra mitad si no hacen la declaración ahorita en, el, en la primavera para los impuestos, impuestos del 2021. Entonces, en conclusión, lo que necesitamos que hacemos, número uno, que llene sus impuestos, que haga su declaración ahorita en el abril que viene para los impuestos de este año. Así va a recibir la segunda mitad de la ayuda. Lo segundo, para recibir la primera mitad del apoyo, si no llenó los impuestos del 2019 o del 2020, tiene que hacerlo antes de noviembre 15. Si no presenta impuestos porque no tiene ingresos suficientemente altos, igual se tiene que registrar para que el gobierno sepa a dónde enviarle su dinero. Entonces, ayúdenos a hacer eso. Si usted no es ciudadano americano, igual califica siempre y cuando su niño o niña tenga un número de seguro social. Si usted no tiene un número de seguro social, no hay problema. Trabaja con las organizaciones comunitarias para recibir lo que se llama el número ITIN. Y ese número con eso puede hacer la declaración y con eso recibe los fondos para sus niños. Al tomar ventaja de este programa, este crédito puede cortar el nivel de pobreza nacional por un 45%. Serían 4 millones de niños que no vivirían ya en pobreza, 120 mil niños dentro de nuestro condado Harris. Pero este programa no beneficia a nadie si las familias no saben que pueden tomar ventaja. Hay al menos 30.000 familias en el condado Harris que califican para este programa que no llenan impuestos por cualquier razón. Entonces el condado Harris está invirtiendo medio millón de dólares 
para trabajar en sociedad con estas organizaciones y con Baker Ripley para informar a las familias en bibliotecas, en clínicas comunitarias, en iglesias, en donde sea para explicarles por teléfono, en persona, en inglés, en español, en todos los idiomas, cómo aplicar para recibir estos fondos. Por eso hoy estamos anunciando esta sociedad. Este programa también nos ayuda a todos en la comunidad. Estamos invirtiendo medio millón de dólares, pero recibiríamos como comunidad entre 6 y 15 millones de dólares si es que estas 30 mil familias llenan sus impuestos y reciben el crédito tributario para los hijos. Entonces, necesitamos que, que, que actúe rápidamente. No podemos dejar que no llegue este dinero aquí a nuestro condado. Si me está escuchando ahora mismo y no está recibiendo los pagos del crédito tributario, contáctenos, contacte a Baker Ripley para que los, les explique qué tiene que llenar para recibir estos $3,600 a a dólares por niño para que apoye así a su familia y también a nuestra comunidad. Entonces es, es urgente, se tiene que suceder antes del 15 de noviembre. El número es 713-273-3744 o puede eh, ver más información en bakerripley.org entonces con eso eh, vamos a ah, thank you ok, el número vale. es 713-273-3755 es, este es el número correcto uh, just a correction, the number is, is not the one I provided, it is this one 713-273-3755 that's the correct number 713-273-3755 3755. And we'll hear from Kelly Aguirre, who's the CEO of Baker Ripley. Thank you, Judge. Thank you, Judge, um, and everyone. So, since 2009, Baker Ripley, with a very strong partnership with United Way and so many of our community based organizations, like our friends at um, the Chinese Community Center, have been providing free tax preparation for our low income, hardworking families. And after 400,000 returns that we've done through this partnership, we've learned a couple of things. Two of the most critical things we've learned is one, this, is, this return that our families get are oftentimes the difference between surviving and not. The difference between getting basic needs and the second thing that we've learned is it's not just about lifting our most vulnerable, hardworking communities by individuals with their families. This is about how we stimulate our economy. This single-handedly allows our low-income families to participate in this region's social and economic engine. And as we've seen through the last 19 months, our most vulnerable communities have been impacted drastically by COVID. So when we see that this expansion of child tax credit, we see firsthand how our families have benefited from these dollars. And today really is about how we get the word out for this expansion. Today we're announcing the, through the Harris County, through the leadership of Judge Hidalgo, this opportunity to make sure that every family is that qualifies is able to come and get the uh, get their returns and get the child tax credit what we've seen so far is that the dollars that come into the families are used for child care are used for food for housing for basic needs and when you look at this and you're thinking about how we recover as a region we think that parents need daycare so they can go to work Parents need to buy supplies, school supplies for their kids, keep them clothed, keep them with shelter so that they can go to work. This all plays hand in hand. And through the collaboration with Harris County leadership through the judge and with all of our community-based organizations, we want to make sure that these dollars go to the right way, which is getting people to understand that this money belongs to them that we need to apply, we need to bring that money back into this region. Our region's economic, our region's families are dependent on these dollars coming back. So I just want to make sure that, that any family who qualifies, and, and the judge talked about um, the eligibility, and we've got people here at our year-round tax center 
um, right here at Baker Ripley and through our nonprofit organizations partners where we can help you bring that application forth and start receiving it if you haven't started receiving that child tax credit. It's so important that we start to really look at those non-traditional families. You know, and I think that this outreach is really about what organization is out there working already. We've got grandparents, we've got siblings, we've got aunts, uncles that are, that are raising children. We wanna make sure you understand that you are eligible for these dollars. Because at the end, the most vulnerable children are going without and we need to make sure we support them. As the judge says, this is a longer term. This isn't just a short term recovery. This is the pipeline for our economy, pipeline for education, pipeline for our jobs is to make sure that our children have the resources right now to recover and get through um, their life's challenges. So I just want to thank you everyone. Thank you, Judge, for um, the dollars. It's, it's really, you know, at Baker Ripley, we say this. If you want something done, you got to lead it. Judge Hidalgo in Harris County is really leading this, this fight into making sure this region recovers the right way, to making sure that our most vulnerable get the resources they need. So thank you, Judge. Thank you. Hold your attention, Maylin. As the community center serving the Aleaf neighborhood, the Gulfton and the Shaftstown areas, we're just very excited about this return. Especially as Judge mentioned, nearly half of our families in this neighborhood are struggling financially. So this return is so critical, especially when most of our families are in the process of going back to work or they're in job training, getting ready to, you know, get a living wage job. A lot of that need a safety net. Our Financial Opportunity Center, we help low-income families, not just to survive, we want them to thrive. So the benefit will be used in quality childcare this expansion plan will definitely increase the access to quality care for early childhood or for out of school time for school age children. So we want the community to know you need to apply and the center, the Chinese Community Center, we actually have bilingual staff. They are, you know, bilingual in Chinese, Mandarin, Cantonese, Vietnamese, and Spanish. So if you have any question how to get on the portal or about the information, come to Chinese Community Center. Our center is located on 9800 Palm Park. And we are a longtime partner with the United Way and the Baker Ripley. Our tax services has been ongoing for almost 20 years. And we hope the families that either have been, you know, using our services or heard of this, you know, child tax credit program, reach to Chinese Community Center and we're here to help you. Um, I will just use briefly in Chinese, okay, to share with our uh, neighbors. 今年呢, 扩展到每一个有家庭的有孩子的家庭如果你之前并没有报税的记录你可以在我们的网站上申请这项福利但是呢如果你有问题请和我们文化中心联络Thank you Hi, on behalf of United Way of Greater Houston I am so proud to be here today to support our, our friends and partners Baker Ripley. Since 2009, United Way has invested in the Neighborhood Tax Centers program to make that valuable service available to our community. And we couldn't be prouder than to partner with Baker Ripley and Chinese Community Center on that effort. If you need assistance locating a tax center or need assistance with basic needs like food, shelter, housing, uh, utility assistance, financial assistance, we invite you to call our United Way 211 helpline by just simply dialing 211. 
Our specialists are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We answer calls in over 250 languages, so we can connect you to the resources that are available right in your community by simply dialing 211. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, my name is Gene Wu. I have the uh, pleasure of uh, representing this area. Uh, uh, this area is one of the most diverse areas in the entire nation and also one of the poorest in the entire nation. And I am so grateful for the child tax credit because it will be one of the simple uh, but most effective ways to lift people out of poverty and lift entire families out of poverty. And that is really important. And there are so many people here, uh, United Way, CCC, Baker Ripley, uh, the Harris County, everyone is here to make sure that this program is successful and that people get the help that they need and deserve. And we want to make uh, this as effective as possible because not only does uh, the child tax credit help us lift families out of poverty, but it will also help us reduce future costs every family that can help get child care that means another parent is back to work every family that has um, proper nutrition that means future ch children and family members don't end up in the hospital because they're malnourished or because they're not eating good food and every time we can help a family reduce their stress and get a little bit ahead that means we have children who go to school they go to school happy they go to school ready to learn and that's good for all of us. So tell your friends, tell your neighbors, get the help. There's so many people here who are ready to help. They're gonna drop everything to make sure that you get taken care of. So get out there, there's no more excuses. And one more thing, the child tax credit is not gonna last forever. But I wanna call on all Houstonians, everyone who's listening to demand that the child tax credit be extended for the future. That we keep the child tax credit this thing that is going to lift up so many people and so many families let's make this permanent let's make this a reality for all americans for the future thank you we'll answer any questions So we're undergoing a redistricting process in Harris County and every 10 years, as you guys know, the census takes place in this country and because of changes in the population, we have to redraw the boundaries for political subdivisions to make sure that representation is fair. Certain areas grow more than others and so under the law we have to make sure that there's roughly the same number of people, in our case, in each of the Harris County Commissioner's precincts. So that is why we're undergoing a redistricting process right now. I'm proud of the fact that for the first time in Harris County we're, we're going through a redistricting process with the most uh, public input options that we've had before. We've had several hearings, at least five or six. We are partnering with community organizations that are deep in the community soliciting input. Uh, we have had a website that we've been promoting for months where people can get their questions answered, submit their ideas in writing. They can even submit their own map proposals. And so, uh, frankly, on purpose, I have not delved into the maps because we have an important hearing today where we're going to hear from the community about each of the different proposals. Um, and at that point, I'll, I'll begin evaluating my position on what's the best path forward. But I encourage folks to continue submitting maps, to speak today at our public hearing. And the best we can do is, is make sure that we, that we take into account uh, the input from all the affected communities, and then we'll make a decision. Uh, 
the, the, we're still under litigation um, over I-45. There's a lawsuit by the federal government. There's a lawsuit by Harris County. So I'll leave the, the legal implications to the lawyers. But I'll say this. We need a revision of I-45. We need I-45. I support it. The commissioner's court supports it. But we need a highway that works for the community. And the current design would exacerbate traffic instead of making it better. Uh, would put a lot of schools uh, impacted by poor air quality. Um, it would impact some of our trails. And it wouldn't provide enough transit, which is necessary if we want our region to be competitive. And so I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that we can continue to work with TxDOT to come up with a design that is appropriate for the community and we have proposed an alternative design that is feasible, that's been designed by engineering experts and well-respected ones at that. Um, and so, you know, I, 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 I remain hopeful that we can reach an agreement. Sí, claro que sí. La 45 es, eh, la necesitamos, necesitamos esa autopista, necesitamos que la autopista sea remodelada porque a como está diseñada en este momento no funciona, pero también el diseño nuevo debemos asegurarnos que sea apropiado para la comunidad. El diseño que ha propuesto el Estado en este momento eh, eh, lo que haría sería empeorar la situación del tráfico, simplemente crearía más carriles, lo cual sabemos no reduce el tráfico, lo vimos con la I-10, impactaría también muchas escuelas con calidad de aire bajo, bueno, el impacto de asma y la salud para los niños, eh, impactaría nuestro eh, control de inundaciones y además eh, limitaría el acceso al transporte público, del cual necesitamos muchísimo más transporte público, no menos. Entonces, en total, hemos propuesto un diseño alternativo, es realista, lo han diseñado ingenieros respetados y espero seguir trabajando con el Estado para tener un diseño que la comunidad apoye en general para poder rediseñar esa, esa autopista de una manera positiva. Positiva, pero siguen las demandas, hay una demanda por parte del gobierno federal y una demanda por parte del, del condado Harris porque el diseño eh, a presente no es apropiado y la comunidad no lo apoya. Ok, thank you.